What is up guys, Major Magpie here, and welcome back to City Skylands. This is the After Dark DLC, and it looks awesome. It looks absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, the sun's just coming up in the distance, eh? And see a beautiful red sky. Or orange sky, depending on if you're colorblind like me. <laughs> Uh, yes, this video is a little later than I intended. Uh, there was a few team problems with mods that I didn't foresee, and I don't know why I didn't foresee. It was kind of inevitable. Uh, you know, little patches that come in for City Skylines conflicts a little bit with certain mods. So it was basically on the cards that that was going to happen with, especially with the amount of mods I've got installed on my game, but I've got to give a shout out to Bloody Penguin who has come up with an after dark loading hotfix because my game would not load uh, or it would fully load but then it just wouldn't come out the map, it would show that it was fully loaded uh, so he's come up with a hotfix that's fixed things and basically it just removes buildings that will not load and I've had a look around the city and I can only actually find one building that hasn't loaded I might be wrong. I might be like, you know, not looking properly or whatever, but the only building I got, can find that hasn't loaded is this one here. Remember the little... Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. The right hand Japanese gate bridge or something where the cars went through it? Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can find that hasn't loaded. Yeah, let's crack on. I've got a lot I want to do in this episode. One of the main things before nightfall comes again... I would like to start pumping water into our lake. Um, but first we're going to go over some work that I've been doing. I've spent about 15 million. I've saved up 15 million and spent 15 million. I've done tons, shed loads. So I'm going to start down here where I've been doing a little bit of foliage. Just packing it out. Making it look a bit nicer. Yeah, put this little plaza thing in down here. Nero's plaza. Yeah, and I forgot a little pretzel truck there. Well, he doesn't seem to have much business. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, we've done all of that. Pack it out. I'm just going to keep doing little bits like that off cam every now and again. Uh, if we head over to our museum next. Uh, we've done the car park, I think it was last episode or maybe it was the episode before. Yeah, and I've just had some foliage in around here. A few paths. Put the hedge all the way around as well. Goes up and around here. Just looking pretty awesome. Jump in and just get a feel for it. Oh, that's a beautiful little car as well. Hey, I like the flowers. Uh, yeah, while we're here, actually, I'm going to get rid of these um, cemeteries. We started emptying these a little while ago. They've obviously finished emptying now. So let's get rid of these guys. No point paying the money if they're not getting used. Oh, yeah, I know. These are all unhappy. Boo hoo. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, that's the first job I would like to do is tackle, put in some more death care, which is basically what it is, isn't it? Uh, something else I've done off cam is I've put a nice little fence around here, around old Mara's Plaza here. A few little flower beds for our dudes to hang out at. Dudes and dudettes. That's looking pretty awesome. And we've got no electric. Why have we got no electric? Ah, these must have been linking. Just quickly jump in and fix this then. Uh, we're gonna go that way. Boom. Get rid of this little bit of excess here. It's not needed. Play and hopefully these guys will get electric again and connect our water actually because our water's up there. So yeah, you can see the knock on effect straight away there. So our water got disconnected as well. That requires electricity, but we're back online. Cool. Right, well, we've done a modest plaza. Uh, if we just head over the back here, I have started another landfill area. And um, basically rubbish started becoming an issue when I was saving money up, so I just chucked in a ton more landfills to try and help cope. Uh, this is going to be quite a dirty zone up here. I want to move our sewage up here as well. I was thinking about expanding this water in like a square zone or something, and then just filling it with loads of sewage pumps. And that would take them away from the airport up here. You can see it's there. Um, yeah. Let's head on over to the lake then, because this is one of the areas where I've spent a ton of cash terraforming the land and reshaping it. Uh, 
basically what I've done is I've taken one height and I've dragged it right the way around our entire lake. Uh, and we were down, you can see where the existing height was and where our new height is. It was a little bit low. It's a good job I didn't stop pumping tons of water out here because it would have flooded. Uh, so this is our new height. I've had to do it pretty much all the way around. Uh, a lot over here where our FIFA HQ is. You can see the massive banks that's in there. Uh, I do want to sculpt a little bit of this. I figured I'd do a little bit of this on calm. Just uh, smoothing the surfaces and make it look a little prettier, a little tighter. Taking off all the jagged edges. Cool and... But yeah, one more thing to look at was another place where I spent a ton of cash. It was the airport. Look at it. Ain't she beautiful? <laughs> yeah, this is just about ready to actually start constructing on again. Yeah, I've changed our entire roundabout layout here. And we've got this nice big road. I basically just took this all back to the drone board and started again. And I like it. I think it looks awesome. It's uh. It's got me very happy indeed. Uh, so I was thinking about maybe putting some commercial or maybe even offices around this little square bit here. But yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, one of the things that does come with the After Dark DLC is a massive airport. And I was looking at it before. I can go and find it. It is quite a size and it's going to go in just nicely here. Built that just in time. So if, whatever it is there. It's called an international airport, a large airport complex of two runways, uh, 11 terminals and readiness to connect directly to the subway network can handle much more traffic than a conventional airport. And this is going to set us back a quarter of a million. But we will get round to putting that in. Look at that, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> yeah, that will probably come either in the next episode or maybe it's the one after because... Well, it's going to be timely. I need to just plan it out in my head of how it's going to go. These airports are all going to go, all the terminals. I've gotten rid of two of the terminals that were here. Just so I could um, flatten the ground in and around. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back to that. Let's just take a look at some of the stuff that we get with this DLC then. We have a new transport uh, in a taxi. Yeah, we've got a taxi depot with a little taxi stand, which is just like a giant bus shelter by the looks of it. Uh, we just head on over to decorations. We also get this new little button here for tourism and leisure, which introduces like fishing piers and fishing tours, jet ski rental, and so on and so forth. We've got like yeah, beach volleyball, skater park, and all these jet ski things is going to come in just nicely if we can get our lake up and running this episode. We could put in some jet skis on our lake. That would be awesome, that wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, we do have another new button, which is this one here. This again is Tourism and Leisure, but it's in Unique Buildings menu. And these ones you do have to unlock. A little checkpoints to tick sort of thing. But we've got a casino, we have a driving range, a fantastic fountain. We have a luxury hotel and a zoo. I'm looking forward to having because I was looking for zoo animals not so long ago on the on the old steam workshop to see if there was any in there. But yeah, now that we've seen all that, I mean, th there is a few other bits and pieces. There's motorcycles now and bicycles. Let's see if we can seek a few of these guys out. Um, there's a motorbike there. If we can just pause time. Let's see a little blue scooter. And Mary Smith on our scooter. Meow. Oh, we've lost her. She's up there somewhere. Oh, somebody's getting chased by the police by the looks of it as well. Crime in the city is rife. Uh, yes, right. Uh, we'll try and pick up a bicycle on our way. But what I would like to start doing in this episode, I want to start with death care first because you can see it's starting to mount up here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a road around our existing three crematoriums here, or advanced crematoriums here. Uh, and then I want to put it in, an, in another six or so Mebby's crematoriums, just to deal with it. So we've got a surplus. Because um, I hate coming back and doing these over and over again. So 
I might do this, leave a little bit of room and maybe put some, I don't know, some cemeteries on the other side of these. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. We only need these uh, advanced crematoriums for now. So we're going to go just keep it on straight roads. Run to there. Uh, I think. Like, how wide are these? Like, two, four, six, seven. Uh, no, six. The six wide. And they are like two, four, five deep. So. That's what we need. We need like a ruler, a ruler mod. <laughs> I'm sure something like that exists. Right, let's just go all the way through. Not quite onto that road. I don't think. Did we get one in there? And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to just untick snapping. And I'm going to put a road in there, but I want to get it as close as we can to that existing road. Let's just pause the time, actually. So I'm going to remove this as well. Right, we want it pretty damn close to here. Just take that to there. That works. Boom. Just stretch that onto there. And stretch that onto there. Like so. Might as well put snapping back on. Bulldoze tool. Tidy up the corners. That one's alright, it's tidied itself up. And just connect that onto there, like so. Cool. I know, play time again, come in. Right, let's go and get some of these advanced crematoriums, and I believe it's like second last one or last one in here. That's it there, I think. Yep, that's it. Right, we're gonna go with just pack the, this area out here with these things, so. Why won't that stick to there? Hmm. Annoying. One, two. Three, four, five. And I've just realized what I've done. A little bit of a waste of cash. Good job I've got plenty of dough. Right. There we go. Needs to be snug. Snug to get them all in. Alright. Cool. I don't understand why that won't go in there. Oh, well, there we go. Boom. I'm just going to make sure that electric is connected. We don't want to go... Yeah, it is. We don't want to lose the old electric. Right, so that's death care taken care of then. Let's just come out with that menu. The sun looks like it's about to go down again soon. I'm a little bit hazy. Yeah, okay. Next up then, let's tackle a little bit of this around here. We'll do some smoothing. So we want that too. And I just want to smooth the edges around here. Let's just zoom in so we can get it, get an idea of height. Just takes all these jagged bits off where that looks a bit, a bit tatty. I don't want to take them all away because it, you know, it adds a little bit of realism, I suppose, if, it's, if they're still on there, so just have a few different heights. I will just tweak this as, as we go as well as uh, as we develop, but... Yes! This is something else we I did off cam. I've put, like, I've lured all the land along the edge of what will be a river. I hope. <laughs> if everything goes well, it will be a river. Uh, and I've done that for a good reason. I'm going to run a path along there. I'm humming a horn between a path. I'm not sure whether I do a path or whether I do a road. So I'm going to start with a path. And if I don't like it, I'll upgrade it to a road. Uh, so we'll just start with a footpath. Then this one here. Just a pedestrian road. And I want to run a straight line all the way through to right, pretty much the end. And I want to put like a walkway on. So it, acts like, so it looks like a quayside, I suppose. Um, so let's just... Get an idea of how that's how wide it's going to be there. Let's check and see if we we'll break that cable. Actually, the old electricity cable. Boom. Right, with a little bit of luck, we should. We have broke the electric, so I'm just going to pause. 
Um, go and find our walkway, which is what I want to put in there. Eight by two walkway. Uh, and I just want to put that along the edge here, sort of like that. And just keep keep repeating it all the way through, side by side. And you'll get an idea of the look that I'm going for in a second. Hopefully this will look all right all the way through here. I would like to change it up and have different ones because it's going to be very repetitive when you look along here. But I can't get anything to go with this that suits it. So I've just had to go with the same repeated thing over and over. Let's have a look at this then. And there you go. And the water, if we just go to the other side, the water is going to be pretty much up to the top of there. Because I mean, if you look at the river here, that is pretty close to the top of the land as we've shaped it. So that's going to look absolutely awesome, I think. I'm looking forward to seeing how it pans out. <laughs> Right, what I want to do is just connect this electric. Just going to leave that. I was going to do the other side of the case, but I'm not going to bother. I'll do that off cam because it's pretty straightforward. You know what I'm, you know what I'm going for. Um, so let's just connect this electric up then. Yeah, I do want to get rid of these pylons and put um, like underwater electric cables like we've done on the big river. But first, we need to put water in it. So we'll just stick with these for the time being. Let's just get rid of this, like so, that's cool. Right, let's start making some preparation work for filling this man-made lake then. Uh, as you can see, I've had to lift this bridge as well. I'm, I don't think this bridge is going to stay, I think I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, but I'm going to see how it looks when I put some water in first of all, before I jump to any conclusions. And we can play time again. Right, if we can just get the water menu up actually, because I want like I want the, the lake needs to have its own water supply. Because if we connect it up to our existing water supply, um, it is going to drain the city of any any water resources we have. So we are going to need a pump first of all before I go seeking through this water menu, because there's a lot of crap in there. I'm just going to move all of these pipes. So let's just join all of these up. Yeah, join all these up here. Make sure these are all connected to each other. And then I'll take them away from under our lake. Or our proposed lake. And a little bit there. Right, there we go. Let's get the bulldoze tool. I'm just going to remove these from there. And a little bit from there as well. There we go. And yeah, the same on this little little bit here. Just join like you up with you and you up with you. And what the hell you up you with you as well. And the same on this side. And if we can, is it gonna let us? Yes, one, two, three. We then want our bulldoze tool again. Just bulldoze everything in the middle. It's that, that. And this one as well. Right, that should be us set. Yeah, it is. To put our water pipes in for our pump then. So, what I'm going to do is put the water pipes in first, then I'm going to put the pumps in. So I'm going to go with a water pipe. I'm just going to run it across the bottom of the lake all the way to the river. Because you need to provide water, you need to pump water into this. So I need to do it from an existing river or by water source, basically. Uh, so I'm going to run it around here. I don't know why I've gone around that island. I could have went straight through it, but never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run it into the river and then up there. Now I can't remember if I've got to provide this with a water pump on the end of here. So I'm going to leave it there for the time being. And if it is, I'm probably going to put the water pump all the way up this end, so we'll have to run the water pipes under the river. But I'm going to put the actual pumps on the end of here first and see how see if it works. Uh, so we go and find them in the menu. I think they're all the way at the end of here. So 
There we go. This is it here. Waterworks outlet. So this pumps water out of it, which will fill our lake. That's the theory. And I have tried it on a small scale, quickly, uh, off cam, and it does work, but it's whether it's going to have enough to fill this. Enough grunt. I'm hoping it will, because if it does, this is going to be awesome. So we're going to go like that. Probably give it a second pump. Like that. Boom. And they're both pointing into here, which is cool. Now we need to just connect that up to our water supply. And let's see what happens. Will water come out of it or will I actually have to put a pump on the end of it? On the other end of it. Right, so we're going to go to there. And then shall we go around the back? And not there. If it let us, are you going to let us? Please let us. Oh. There we go. And the same on the other side. It looks. It looks like that's working. It's actually pumping water, I can see. There's no animation of the actual uh, pumps itself, which I don't think there is. But look, it's filling it with water. It's working, guys! <laughs> Yes, I'm looking forward to this. Right, what I want to do is start letting water in the other side as well. I want to lower the river a little bit. Uh, not huge amounts, just enough so it drops below the water height and the water will come in this way. But the idea is that the water, once this all fills up to the correct height, is it'll start flowing back out this way and join onto this river. That's the theory. That's how I've planned it out and hopefully it'll work. So maybe we want our terraf terraforming tool. Get that, see if we can find a height. Um, I don't think it's that height. <laughs> right there. Uh, might have to go one lower. I think that'll do it. Yep. That should do it. And the water should start flowing in in a second. There it is, it's coming in. <laughs> Should get a little baby waterfall here. Look at that, the sun's coming up as well. I'm getting so excited, I've actually forgot to show you the entire city in, the, in its darkness. It looks so amazing. And no doubt you'll see a lot of it over the coming episodes anyways. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here, guys. Um, but there, look at that. It's coming in. We're going to pick up the next episode and hopefully we'll get a final height on this. And with a little bit of luck, it'll be a lake. Stroke onto a river. Um, but everything seems to be going to plan so far. Look at that. And the water should come up to probably halfway up that wall. I think, maybe it's a little bit lower. <laughs> what a genius idea this is. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Things are taking shape nicely. Beautiful. Anyways, guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.